Hello there, Seamus from uh, Strength and Fitness. Um, I wanted to go over a few stretches that will help uh, you improve range of movement at the hip, um, reduce back pain, stuff like that there. It's a sequence uh, taken from Chad McKay, but it's more or less slowed down, holding the stretches a little bit longer so that uh, you can improve uh, the range of movement, all right? Um, so I'm just going to down here. Okay, so, the first stretch I want you to do is, it's called the runner's lunge, okay? Um, the way I want you to do it is that you step out first, walk your foot forward so that the shin bone's nice and straight up and down. You're then going to lower your elbow down the inside of the leg, okay? Now some people may not be able to touch the bottom or touch the floor, that's fine. Just hover about mid shin, that's fine as well, okay? Once you get into that position, I just want you to pop the leg up. Get a more of a stretch along the inside of the leg here, okay? And just hold. Don't overstretch it though. Feel as if there's any pain, back off a little bit, okay? Just holding the stretch, come back down. And what I want you to do is put your hand on the front of your foot. Keep it flat on the ground. You're gonna straighten the leg out. This is the stretch out the middle of the hamstring. All right, just from here. And then you're going to come up, point the toe up and back towards you. Again, back of the hamstrings, you may get a little bit more of a stretch in the, in the calf if, if you're tight there, okay? And relax. So you can hold these stretches anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. I'm just showing you them very quickly, um, okay? Uh, next time is... So this is the position you that you would be in in the runner's lunge from the front view. So I want you to bring your foot across your body. Walk your hands until your knee hits the ground. Keeping your foot up. So the shin bone is going straight across your body. Not back in like this here. It's not the intention that I want you to for the stretch. Keep your foot up. And don't have your hips rocked back like this here. I want you to square everything off. So sit nice and upright. Okay, and slide the back leg back. From here, you should get a nice big stretch in your glutes and your backside. Okay, sit in that nice upright posture. And then if you can, walk your hands forward, relax into the stretch. Focus on your breathing. Every out breath, you should go that little bit further and deeper into the stretch. Again, if it's uncomfortable and tight and sore, Ease back a little bit more. If you do this here regularly, like every other night, then the, the range of movement will improve, okay? Come back again. You can do exactly the same on the other side. Lunge forward. Now you'll find probably that one side of your body is, is uh, more flexible than the other, but I want you to work your leg, work your hands, elbows down towards the foot, um, and then towards the ground. Okay, and again from this view, you're going to raise the leg, stretch out that hip flexor a little bit more, get a deeper stretch, and that shin bone again is straight up and down, your shoulders just level with the knee, okay, that's what you're aiming for, drop the knee down, hand on your front foot, and stretch back, okay, getting this here right in the middle of the hamstring, okay, then you bring your toe up, Stretching the back of the leg right under the calf muscle, depending on how flexible you are. Okay, if you can sit upright, keep the back nice and straight, and go deep down under that way. If you start to haunt you over, you get a well, yeah, in fact, get a better stretch if everything's nice and straight. Okay, now in that position, bring your foot across the body, walk your hands towards the ground, your knees going to hit the ground. Okay. Holding your foot, you're going to stretch that right back. Again, nice upright posture. Put, keeping that foot nice and up, nice and square. Dropping that hip down and leaning forward into that stretch. Simple few stretches just for you to do um, every other night. The next video I do, we'll talk about trigger points and foam rolling. Okay, like right out and focus on your breathing. 
Okay. Thanks for watching.